today I will show you how to make this VHS text. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is go to this horizontal type tool, which is just the text. Don't have the vertical type tool and you can just press it here and you can type whatever text you want. For the sake of this video, I will just type VHS and make sure to type it in caps. And I'm going to use the font to help Microsoft New Tai Lu and use it on bold, like this bold mode. And I use it to 347 pixels and I changed this to 57 here to make it a bit more zoomed in. Now we can go to align and just align it. We can also place this to the middle by holding control and double pressing on time behind. This is not needed, I just did that for, I just did that for fun. Yeah, now we can start adding effects. But before we do that, let's just go here and make it the third quality because uh, this is a VHS. So VHS is usually like a third or quarter quality. So I'm just gonna have it on uh, for the quality. And now we can start an effect. So the first effect we'll add is S flicker. Now, as you can see, this effect needs the Sapphire plugin. So you need to have that and make the amplitude to 0 0.4. Now let's add S digital damage. Uh, you can keep it as it is here, but I think the intensity is a bit too high. So let's make it like from 0 point, like 1 to 0 point, like 5. So like, like 0 0.3, I guess like in the middle. And let's make the time intensity a bit lower to like 0 0.85. I also like this. Uh, now let's add signal. This is a pretty important effect for this look because signal is like already a VHS look. This can already be just called a VHS text, but let's adjust it a bit more for our liking. So I'm going to make the signal strength to like 25. It just pops out the colors a bit more. If you make it even lower, it's going to pop out the colors even more. I like to make the signal amplification like free here, a bit higher. You can make it even higher, but then it's just going to look too colorful. So let's just keep it at free. Let's make the luma noise to 10. If you keep making it higher, it's just going to look like this. So I also like to turn off the chroma loss because we wanted it to have as much color here. I like to make the sharpen to free here. Uh, now I can add S warp wave. I like to make the amplitude like very low, like 0 0.05. Uh, also, let's make the angle not to minus 45, but minus 90. And now we can change the frequency to like 152, I guess. I don't know, it's gonna give these lines. Now, these lines don't look that good at, as their own right now, but uh, we can just change that by adding another signal. Here, I like to make the signal strength to like 45. And here, I also like to turn off the chroma loss because I wanna have the color. I forgot to tell you, but you have to go to Luma modulation and turn off the pairs and the turn on and off and do the same for this signal i'm sorry guys for forgetting it turn this here and turn this off here although keeping the actually well let's keep the turn on and off right now hmm. let's see how that looks that actually looks pretty good for that now let's add s shake it looks very nice when it shakes and let's make the amplitude to like 0 0.07 and i also like to press on the motion blur and let's see how it looks so that is pretty cool i'm gonna type actually a bit more like vhs text yeah that just looks very cool uh yeah you really need to like mess around like if you want the turn on and off or you don't also not even that big of a difference uh, like if you keep it it's gonna look like this and if you don't keep it from here then delete it from here that might actually be cooler yeah uh, honestly uh, really mess around that is a very cool text and if you guys want to save this effect as a preset like this text as a preset you can just go to one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and here let's call it a vhs text a preset i guess and press save whenever you want to add this effect you'll just be able to go to effects and presets and type vhs uh, effect preset or oh, vhs text preset and add it on your text now another little thing i like to do here is i like to press s and i like to uncheck this i like to make the text like 135 i don't know i just kind of like it when it's a bit stretched like that so that looks very vhs very cool in my opinion hopefully this looks very good for you and of course mess around with the settings ah uh, yo guys while editing the tutorial i noticed one thing and i forgot to mention about this warp effect if you want to create this like bullish like scaled up i don't know like effect you need to add warp and change the warp style to fisheye and send it to like 43 i guess this is how it looked before so this is like the normal one and this is after and you can also just do this on the text like you remember we had this like here you can like just add warp below everything set the warp style to fisheye and make the bend you can make it to 50 point but i like to 43 or sometimes you can just keep it to like 20. okay yeah back to the video but I also want to recommend you guys one of the best packs out there, which is my Open Presets pack. This pack works very well with like the VHS aesthetic, also like this grunge aesthetic, you know, from the Ken Carson music videos. In the pack, I also include text effects, actually, and also glitches, and also like regular opium effects. So uh, we can actually add some opium effects right here. So we can go to effects and presents type OPM. Now you need to have the pack for this. Uh, so if you guys want to get the pack, I actually have a $5 discount code, which is called Povikas. Uh, use it to save $5 off on the Open Presets pack. 
back. I really do like the Opium 11. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite effects ever. And that looks cool, like very cool with like this effect mixed in. But also you can press Control D uh, to duplicate and let's just delete that one for now. Uh, let's just unselect everything. And this is how the effect looks on the VHS text, just without the VHS. This is how it looks with the VHS and without. I really like how it looks just like that stand alone. Like you can add shake now and like shake it out. Very Opium. For Opium you might even want to make this like quarter. That looks even more damage. I mean, I would also recommend Opium 12. I know that looks very good on text. I mean, just look at that. That is insane. I actually forgot how this looked. I mean, this effect is crazy. Okay, that looks very good on the text. <laughs> you can just keep adding these effects. But anyways, guys, that was it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. I really recommend to mess around a lot more with the settings. I just showed you like kind of like the basics. So you can definitely make this even cooler. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.